So you're back again on to get in today, people. Today we are here for episode number 44, I do believe, of our brand new Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke in the last episode, you guys. Matter of fact, I don't want to talk about the last episode. If you missed out on the last episode, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, we have yet another very imposing challenge of a battle set forth before us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking on Sabrina! Which is actually kind of hype! Holy fuck! I feel like we've done so much besides taking on a gym leader. Today we're taking on a fucking gym leader! We're gonna get a fucking badge! God damn, if you guys are hyped for some- Yeah, let's keep this energy going! Fuck yeah, we need it, god damn it! We need it! If you guys are hyped for some more Pokemon Radical Red, Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke, and of course if you'd like to show your supporters a proud of the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because y'all already know! Your support is greatly appreciated, but yes, we are taking on Sabrina here today. Ah! And it's going to be terrifying. Now, of course, we got to talk about last episode. Hindsight is always your friend after the fact, and then he disappears before our next battle. <laughs> He's a bitch. Uh, but yes, I don't know. It was just such an unfortunate battle. Uh, it really, it really brings me down. <laughs> it really brings me down. I try to think positively about it like you know what we went through what four optional mini boss battles three gym leader battles and to be fair it was chuck it was a pretty difficult gym leader battle itself but we went through eight eight battles and lost three mons i don't think that's awful uh. <laughs> so either way i don't know i'm trying to just make the most out of it we lost a lot of good mons in the last episode chuck was a bitch and a half but we're gonna try and make the most of it if we can squeak past this battle today with sabrina and i do not use that term lightly i feel like we might just squeak by uh then hopefully we can unlock some new routes i don't know which area we're supposed to go to after sabrina um uh, if we're supposed to go down cycling road or uh whatever the route south of lavender is um, but I think, I think if I remember looking at the documentation, I think they're different levels. So I think maybe we're supposed to go down Cycling Road next. I don't know. We can't worry about that then. But I, what I'm most worried about is encounters. And we have DexNav encounters with our names on it stacked up. God damn it. Anyways, this is the part of the episode where we do a team recap. Ladies and gentlemen, we have no Belagna Pawn Party Holder Placeholder today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, up first, we have Sheila at level 59, wheezing, holding the iron ball. Sassy nature with neutralizing gas. Squeak by. Remember I said squeak by. <laughs> He's rocking sludge bomb, willow wisp, flamethrower, and haze. And we have no Belagna place order because, ladies and gentlemen, put your motherfucking hands together. Belagna is joining the squad today, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time. She's not just holding it down uh, as a placeholder in the PC. She's actually on the team today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you have, if you, if you know what Sabrina's battle is, then I guess maybe the Iron Ball and Belagna make sense. But if you don't, then you're gonna be pleasantly surprised because Belagna is here. Oh shit, Belagna is here. Belagna is here. Damn it, at level 59. <laughs> Modest nature holding the citrus berry with lightning rod because we can't have electric surge. God damn. Rock and Skull, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and Toxic. Up right, next, we have Amelia at level 59. Have a lug holding on to the citrus berry. Relax nature with a filter. Rock and Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Iron Head, and Recover. Amelia, we really like, ooh, shh, really gotta, I don't know, your moveset just needs work. Like, I get it. It's, it's a big block of ice. Like, <laughs> Damn, I guess all ice can do is ice, but fuck! Oh, next, we have Brenda, our level 59, Hisui, and Gujra holding on to that Chopper Berry, Quiet Nature with Sap, Sipper, Rock and Dragon Pulse, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Flamethrower. My heart hurts for Gujra. I mean, for Brenda <laughs> today. My heart hurts for Brenda, but. Put a pin in that heartache, and we will get to that in a moment. Up next, we have Florence, our level 59, Electros. Hold on to the Citrus Berry, Relax Nature with Levitate, Rockin' Thunderbolt, Drain Punch, Flamethrower, and Volt Switch. Is this Florence's first time on the squad? I don't think so. I think Florence came once before, maybe. Maybe we do a, a soft, a soft, uh, yay, hooray. Cause I think, I don't know, I feel like Florence came before. Maybe, maybe she, maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. I don't 
Lawrence is here. And then last but not least, we have Rochelle, our level 59, our Raquinid, holding on to that Citrus Berry, Sassy Nature with Water Absorb, Rockin' Liquidation, Crunch, Leech Life, and Toxic. Ooh, wow. So that is the squad for today. <sighs> Remember I said squeak by? <laughs> Remember I said squeak by? We're gonna squeak by. Um, so I have a little bit of heartache for Brenda, our Hisuian Gudra. Reason being, let's go ahead and check out Sabrina's squad here. So Sabrina is going to come at us with a doubles battle. Uh, and as you can see, the field effect is permanent trick room. Wonderful, right? So go ahead, go ahead, check out Sabrina's squad. You like that hot pink for Sabrina? I hope you can even read the goddamn names, but um, check out Sabrina's squad. Let me know in the comment section below who you think her most threatening mon are. <laughs> you, could, you could guess one or multiples. Uh, but let me know who you think. Um, but my heart hurts for Brenda, our Hisui and Gudra. Because since this is a trick room battle, so many of uh, Sabrina's mons, her speed stat or their speed stats are so horrendously low that there is a guy here in Saffron City. He can set an IV of your choosing to zero. This is mainly useful for getting minimum speed in trick room. So if we say yes, and you set your speed to zero, it says, shall I reduce speed to zero IVs? This can't be undone. So ultimately I decided um, everybody on the squad right now, <laughs> I think that's what the little E minus means. Everyone on the squad is at zero IVs and in all honesty I don't really mind any of them being at zero other than Brenda I can't remember when but I feel like there's been one one or two times or a few times where Brenda outsped who we needed Brenda to take down and that worked and if we do this Brenda will forever and always be at zero IV speed and we would always have to play from a defensive position with Brenda which not impossible not impossible, it's just, I don't know, I'd hate, I, I, I don't know, it bothers me to just give up the option altogether, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It says it's permanent, I don't know if it could be changed at all or not, but for the rest of the mods on our squad, I mean, Blagna, Sheila, Amelia, I don't think they're ever gonna outspeed anyone, ever. I don't think ever, I don't, I don't know if we're ever gonna bring Belagna ever again, to be honest with you. I feel like this only works in the trick room, so unless there's another trick room battle, <laughs> I think Belagna is back to hitting the bench, goddammit. Um, but Rochelle, I don't think, uh, if this was like the second gym, maybe Rochelle might still outspeed some Mons. Um, and Florence, still, I, like I said, I can't even remember if we brought Florence before or not, which just tells me that she's not very high up there in priority in terms of the box. And at the same time, look at the squad we are bringing to take on this monstrous <laughs> setup that Sabrina has. Can we talk about B Team? God damn! Damn! We had the late night snaps and now we have a B team squadron here. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, I just have a good sleep schedule now, so late night emerald. It will, uh, one of these nights I'm just gonna, uh, uh, brew some coffee. <laughs> I feel so old. I'm gonna brew some coffee and just stay up and knock it out. And maybe we need to do an early morning series, but I'm telling you, me and Hector, we sat down and we were like, yo, uh, we're gonna walk the girls every morning, every evening. We've been crushing it, we've been killing it, waking up early in the morning, spring cleaning the fuck out of the house. Just everything has been going beautiful. And I'm telling you, there's some nights where I'm like, okay, gotta do late night number, gotta do late night number. And I lay down to like watch TV or whatever, and all of a sudden I wake up and it's fucking 5.30 5 in the morning. And I'm like, God damn! Ah! So yes, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna finish it. But we got a little bit of late night vibes going here with our half snaps and our B team attitude. So forgive me. Uh, 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 I apologize. Um, silver lining. We got snap out the ass, and we love that game. If you ain't watching snap, you missing the fuck out. We love that fucking game. Uh, and I may or may not have started working on a new canine themed 
project that may or may not be debuting soon. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Um, back to uh, 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 our 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 team here, our B team, B team. Yes, we need to take down Sabrina's monstrous forces with this B team. So, if you have been paying attention to the squadron that Sabrina is bringing, walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Um, so we have permanent trick room. Um, that is an issue because we don't like that it makes everything difficult it makes us sacrifice our speed ivs but uh we have gotten there uh, more on why uh brenda was very very heartbreaking uh when we get to the mon she's here for but you'll see you'll see you'll see you'll see you'll see um so uh, if you said either magirna mail metal or the Gla glacier i hope i'm pronouncing that right um are the most threatening mons you would be correct ding 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 um which is kind of crazy to say it's fucking top of Fini and mega camera up like not that big of a deal uh, in my opinion the I, I don't know when i team build you know turn one and turn two i'm always so so confident about but the further we go into team building the less and less confident i am <laughs> so i'm pretty confident that we have the top of Fini and the mega camera up taken care of um, but I don't know what's gonna end up happening later on down the line in my opinion I think the most threatening mon she has is the Magirna just simply because of soul heart and Because we don't really have the best thing to counter this Magirna, but again, we'll, we'll get to the Magirna But I think the Magirna is most definitely um, the most aggravating mon soul heart is basically a special attack moxie boost um, except this is a doubles battle and she will get the moxie boost for every mon that faints in the battle including her own mons so i it, i don't know i just feel like that's a very slippery slope <laughs> i feel like that's a very slippery slope that i'm not trying to slide down so uh, i i i don't know if you if, if you've seen endgame uh when captain marvel comes flying in from outer space and Thanos, all of Thanos' guns, everybody turns around and looks at her. That's what's gonna happen when this Magirna comes out. <laughs> that is exactly what's gonna happen when this Magirna comes out. We gotta focus this bitch down, god damn it, and get it the fuck out. Um, but anyways, let's let's get into this, let's get into this, let's get into this. Enough about the Magirna. Um, after the Magirna, the, the Glacier and the Melmetal are the next most threatening mons. Um, I don't know, that Mel Metal might be the end of us all. <laughs> Anyways, the Tapu Fini is up first. So we have permanent trick room to deal with, um, as well as this Tapu Fini setting up Misty Surge. Did you know? Did you know? Fun fact, fun fact. Oh, strength up? Oh, we'll get to that bullshit here in a little bit. Um, but did you know, Misty Explosion is multiplied by 1.5 if it's in misty terrain and the user is grounded oh you think that's fucking cute you think that's fucking cute so last time we dabbled with neutralizing gas we wreaked havoc <laughs> but if i'm understanding it correctly it should prevent the misty terrain from happening at all because it nullifies abilities so as long as our Sheila, our Weezing is on the field, and we kill this Tapu Fini, which I know you see the sludge bomb there, is 50%. As long as we kill the Tapu Fini before the neutralizing gas disappears, the Misty Train never gets set up, right? Because it neutralizes his ability. Right? I... Uh, the only reason I doubt this plan is because in the documentation it says that field effects set up by the AI are permanent, but I feel like that's the trick room that we're talking about right here, not this Tapu Fini's ability. Right? <laughs> I need it to be right because I know you saw we have Toxic on some Mons um, and Will-O-Wisp as well, and that's going to be kind of sort of important two so at the end of the day our sheila is here sheila has been set to zero speed and she also has an iron ball 
She does not have an iron ball for the Tapu Fini. <sighs> the word of the day. Or I know it's more than one word. <laughs> but the word of the day is order of operations. That's how I team built for this. I tried to do this with... Um, what was that Team Rocket battle? The Grunt battle? I was outside of the, the Giovanni's room in Game Corner. Something like that with the slacking where I, I, I team built like order of operations to keep it from going with Truant. So that's kind of the same way I thought about this. And forgive me. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to stop everything to do order of operations again. But we are holding an iron ball for another Pokemon on Sabrina's team. It is a Hail Mary last minute play. So, order of operations. Tapu Fini will go after our Weezing, right? Let's not implement the other two mons just yet. Let's just look at the Tapu Fini. So with the Trick Room up, the Neutralizing Gas should keep the Misty Terrain away. We eat up a Misty Explosion pretty damn well, and we eat up everything else pretty damn well, and Sludge Bomb is a minimum 50%. So, if all goes according to plan, by turn two, the Tapu Fini should be dead. Yes? 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 Do you like it? Because I like it. I love it. I love it. Okay, now, moving on to the other Mon that's coming out first turn. The Mega Camera. Would you believe? <laughs> Would you believe? Look at this fucking... Pin curtain over here. So this mega camera up is base 25 speed. That's criminal speeding. This pin curtain, our Balagna, we are at zero. And surprisingly enough, we don't have to be in any sort of defensive nature. Um, and you know what? Let me let me see. I don't even think I registered that. Who would we be going up against? Uh Whoa, chill. What the fuck? Uh, that's a lot of physical attackers. What if we were... Uh, no, 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 I want to... What, relaxed? Up defense and lower speed? Damn, we'd be even slower! Oh, but wait, we have a chance of not kill- Oh, no, 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 wait, no, never mind. Look at this. Past me, looking out for current me! God damn! Okay, never mind. Fuck all that bullshit. So, yeah, anyways. <laughs> um, our skull does 99.4% <laughs> minimum to this camera up turn one. I'm not even sure she's going to leave the camera up in. I don't know if she factors any of that shit into play turn one or not, but I'm going to click skull on this thing. Um, if we check out the Tapu Fini in return. I feel kind of like, so this is with Misty Terrain set up, but if the Neutralizing Gas is up, it doesn't kill us either. Originally, I was going to run Focus Sash that we just got from Chuck in the last episode on uh, Bal Balagna here to ensure that we live turn one in case the Top of Fini goes for Misty Explosion. But with no Misty Terrain up, we live everything. We dish out great, excellent, decent, juicy damage to the Top of Fini if we need to as well. Um, load that shit back up. Um, but if we are following order of operations here, we should go first at 22 speed and the camera up, the mega camera up to go second at 25 speed, right? But that bitch gonna be dead because we're clicking Scald and blowing him away. So it should be Belagna. I don't know why this shit don't want to stay up. Belagna, then Sheila sludge bombing the top of Feeny, doing 50% minimum. And then the Tapu Fini is, worst case scenario, exploding all over both of us. It could Moonblast. But then turn two. I don't know who's coming out at turn two. <laughs> I mean, he could bring out the Magirna. He could bring out the Melmetal. She could bring out the Jellicent. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who she brings out. Um... I jotted down all the speeds and yes, 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 yes. Um, Belagna is the slowest member in this battle. So turn two, I don't, I don't know. She could, she could swap turn one, swap the camera up down, knowing that the skull is gonna kill, and she swaps out to what? Jellicent? 
<laughs> probably takes it the best <laughs> hopefully uh i don't know if you can swap out to anybody i just hope we get a burn but still that is the plan for turn one anything past that we will just have to tackle it as it comes but the plan for turn one order of operations is we click scald sludge bomb and whatever that Tapu Fini wants to do, we are equipped to take it. Um, continuing down the line, I say one of her scariest mons is this gla gla Glastrier? Glastrier? Um, admittedly, I've never fucking seen this Pokemon before. I didn't get to that chapter in fucking Sword and Shield DLC. Maybe I need to, uh, uh, maybe I need to do like a, like a, a summer, summer school catch up little project this summer. <laughs> Catch up on everything that we haven't gone through. Look at this creativity and abundance today. God damn. Um, <laughs> maybe I should. Maybe it's time to revisit. But anyways, this will be my first time battling it. And this motherfucker is crazy. Um, and the moves in the red are moves that he doesn't normally get. Which I honestly would make this a lot easier. Um, but this glacier is super duper scary because his ability, um, Chilling Nay, is basically Moxie, and the damage calc loads it up as Moxie. So he's got Moxie as well as a Swords Dance, um, and the Swords Dance will only enable his Moxie even more. Um, this is with one Swords Dance up, the damage that he does to Amelia, our Abalug. Um, honestly, I don't really, I'm not confident with how we take this down. This ha might have to be another one of those reactions where you know we just have to focus down this Mon on one turn and hope and pray for the best because I, I, if it gets a swords dance up it's only going to continue and the scariest part about this is this fucking aya pa 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 berry fuck is this shit aya pa 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 restores one third max hp at a quarter max hp or less confuses if minus defense nature of course it's not a minus defense nature it's a minus speed nature um and the other thing that makes this glacier so fucking annoying is that his speed is 36 36 that's honestly the main reason why we have amelia here to deal with it um the fact that we can get amelia slower and the fact that amelia eats up this ice hammer so fucking well this fucking ice hammer tears through our entire pc box <laughs> like it just does not give a shit especially if there's a swords dance up so the best we can do here is to coax out a close combat um if he's at plus two that's gonna really fucking suck we have scald on our balagna so if worse comes to worse we can try to click scald we'll outspeed him because of the trick room and maybe get a burn that will help that'll chip him down uh that might force him to go for another swords dance again so that'll be like a free turn for us to maybe even double down on this glacier uh, but he's definitely a big big threat that could slide out of control very very quickly <clears throat> but like i said <clears throat> Iron Head is our best bet against this glacier. It has a chance to flinch, which who knows? <laughs> I'll take anything I can get at this point. It has a chance to flinch, um, and it does a decent amount of damage. And like I said, if I can coax, coax a close combat out of him, we're doing more and more damage each turn. So I have our citrus buried up. And at the same time, this is like one attempt. I don't know who the fuck is gonna be on the field with our Abelug at this point, the Glacier could be trying to focus down that Mon instead. So I I don't know, it's really hard to build for doubles battles <laughs> in this game. I don't fucking know. Um, so from one threatening Mon to the next threatening Mon, um, we have this Magirna, um, who is rocking Soul Heart with the Phytnium Z. The biggest advantage that we have against this Magirna, like I said, this is threat number one. The biggest threat, I mean, the biggest advantage that we have against this threat that is Magirna is the fact that its speed is pretty abysmal for this Trick Room. It's 72, which is the second slowest Mon, or fastest, depending on how you look at it, in this battle. Um, or on her team, I should say. Uh, actually, in this battle, too. <laughs> Fun fact, everybody on our team can outspeed this Magirna. It's good to know. That's good to fucking know. Uh, anyways, uh, yes, it's that's the best thing we have going for it, um, and that's honestly why we had to take Brenda and cut her. What the fuck? The fuck was that? <laughs> was that a fly? <laughs> Am I going crazy? Did something just land on me? What the fuck? 
I feel like I was just sitting here and something landed on me and I was like, oh, ah, ah, I don't know. It's getting hot, so these fucking flies are out in full effect again, and I hate it. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Anyways, focus, focus, focus. Um, Brenda, uh, yeah, I'm very sad that this, um, we had to cut her speed IVs down to 31, but here is the issue that I was having when I was building for this McGearna before. Um, initially, I had an iron ball on Brenda. And our speed was good enough. But this Magirna's Focus Blast, am I really going to put everything on 30% chance to miss? You know me. You know my luck. <laughs> it's going to fucking land. It's going to crit. And plus, this Magirna has the Fightium, Fightium Z, which if it decides to pop it, becomes all-out pummeling, which has a chance to Oko. And, I mean, I know it's got a very small chance, 18% chance to Oko, but still... Like, I don't even want to run that. I'm not even going to do that. Like I said, we're barely squeaking by in this battle as it is. So, is it we... Uh, Brenda's not going to be absolutely useless from here on out. We'll just have to have a more limited approaches to how we build with her from here on out. Because she's never going to outspeed ever again. I mean, unless we end up in a situation like this again in the future. It's just... I don't know. I just hate cutting off an option for her permanently. Unless there's a way to get her speed back, which I don't know about, but who knows. Anyways. Um, so yes, we did that so that we can hold a Chapel Berry instead of the Iron Ball and take the Focus Blast and or the All Out Pummeling better and or prevent her from going for it? Um, I feel like this is like another mystery to add to the um, list of questions in radical red ai put this up there with what are they gonna do turn one are they gonna stay in or are they gonna swap um we had a kebia berry on our florgus last episode and that come on, oh never once went for it now i don't know if maybe we just backed into a corner and never had a chance to go for it but it definitely closed combated our florgus at least once so is that because we just had a kebia berry so hopefully us having a chapel berry the pros outweigh the cons of we're sacrificing the speed to maybe take more hits because if you take a look here our flamethrower has a chance to do over 50 percent if there's no misty terrain maybe we can burn which doesn't really matter it's special attacking soul heart <laughs> quiet natured magirna but i will take the burn damage um but like i said when this magirna comes out it's all eyes on the magirna we're firing at it all cannons loaded um and because we are slower than it Hopefully we can come in on a flash cannon <laughs> or maybe a thunderbolt. That would be great, but I feel like probably not. We're probably going to get moon blasted, but either way, the turn after we will outspeed and get a guaranteed 50% off on this McGeeran before anything else goes down. So cross your fingers, cross your toes, and hope that we are good to go. So moving on down the line, we have this Mel Metal next, and in all honesty, I throw my hands up. I don't know. I have no idea what to do about this Mel Metal. Um, our best hope is that this strategy with the neutralizing gas works and we can keep the Misty Terrain from going up. I know I speak so confidently about it, but in the back of my mind, I still have this fear that it's not going to work. Um, but we have Will-O-Wisp on Sheila. If by some odd chance we can get her in, we can burn this Mel Metal. We might have to try and force that, maybe. Um, but the only reason I even think about Sheila is because with, uh, Florence, our Electros, that's what I'm hoping for with this flamethrower. <laughs> um, we, this is pretty much the most basic, straightforward build against this, um, Mon out of everyone that we have. I feel like everyone else, we have, like, some tricky strategy to outspeed or do whatever, but, um, we don't have anybody else on our PC that can take all of the hits from this Mel Metal this well. Um, this Electros Florence being 57 speed, it is technically the fastest Mon, nope, the second fastest Mon on our team, behind, um, Brenda. Um, so I, I don't think we have anybody, um, a Quagsire set to zero speed probably would have been great for this, <laughs> especially to click Earthquake or, I don't know, Yawn, maybe, that would be great, but don't have that. Um, I considered maybe even running, um... Victor or Empoleon, 
but I don't think that's gonna work either. Um, so we are stuck here with Florence, um, and this Mel Metal is also gonna be another one of those mons where when it comes out, we kind of need to focus it down. Um, our flamethrower from Florence does 30% minimum, so hopefully we can get some high rolls and maybe a burn. Um, I'm hoping to bring Florence in on a Thunder Punch or a high horsepower. Um, Brick Break's not awful. The Double Iron Bash would fucking suck because it would eat into our Citrus Berry the very next turn. Um, and I think for us to get the most out of it, I think we need to... Well, to get the most out of it, we have to come in on a high horsepower. And then he'd have to attack us the turn after, and we'd get a flamethrower off. And then he'd attack us the turn after, activating our Citrus Berry, and we get another flamethrower off. And we'd have to focus him down. I don't... I, 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 like I said, we're gonna squeak by in this matchup. And with these B-team members, we might just have to do what we have to do. I don't know if this is the mindset that I'm in, if I've convinced myself that this is the only way and there is another way, but I'm not confident in what's on the screen right now. So I hope that we can find the way. Um, but between Flamethrower on Electros, Flamethrower on Brenda, um, Scald on Balagna, Will-O-Wisp on Sheila, Somehow, some way, we've got to find a way to burn this Mel Metal because if we can, then our odds become much higher, much greater, much better, um, and we can definitely live hits from him better as well. So, who knows? Cross your fingers, cross your toes. Here I am once again, <laughs> asking you to cross your fingers and cross your toes for us. Thank you, please and thank you. Um, honestly. If the Magirna didn't have Soul Heart, I would say the Mel Metal is probably the most threatening Mon on her team. Um, so those two, the Magirna and the Mel Metal, I just hope and pray we don't ever have to fight them both at the same time because that would be fucked. We would have to kill the Mel Metal while the Magirna whittles down everybody else. And once we kill the Mel Metal, then the Magirna gets a Soul Heart boost. But luckily, like I said, the best thing we have going for us against the Magirna is that we fucking outspeed it. <laughs> Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this Jellicent, uh, who has a water gem, water spout. Ah, oh, fucking love it, don't you? Just fucking love it. Just want to just dump all over the fucking, my, my side of the fucking field. No, we're not having it. We have water absorb on our sassy natured Araquanid, which cuts his hydro pump as well. Shadow Ball is the most damage he's doing to us, 22, 23%. Um, the goal here, again, if there's no misty terrain up, we can click Toxic and then crunch, 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 crunch. We do more damage to it than it does to us. But I have questions. Like, I was looking at it beforehand. So this Strength Sap, it... No, it does no damage. Okay. It does no damage. It lowers the target's attack by one stage. The user restores its HP equal to the target's attack stat calculated with its stat stage before that move was used. If big root, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it'll lower my attack by one stage, but it restores its HP equal to the target's attack stat. So our attack stat is 105? So if this Jellicent uses Strength Sap, it'll get 105 points of health back? And then it'll lower our attack by one stage. Which it doesn't tell it doesn't show me what it is, but I imagine that's so that when it uses strength sap again, it would get less HP back. You can't just keep spamming it over and over again. But I mean, I guess if we click toxic, then does strength sap really matter? I mean, go ahead and strength sap. Stay alive longer. Stay alive longer. <laughs> Anything to keep the Magirna from getting a soul heart boost. <laughs> Don't die until I'm ready for you to die. God damn it. Uh, but anyways, that is our plan. That is our strategy. Jellicent's pretty straightforward. Um, I feel like, I don't know, the Jellicent could sneak in there and maybe be an issue. We might have to take a water spout on somebody that we don't want to have to take a water spout. But for the most part, I feel like we have prepped adequately. Um, I hope I haven't overlooked anyone in the PC that could potentially be useful. Um, I feel like our options are very, very limited because we have to have our speeds down. You know, like it's it's not already our our options are already limited based upon the mons that we have that we've caught. Our options are limited because it's trick room. 
<laughs> and we have to have low speeds. And that cuts down our options as well because I'm sorry, some mons, I'm not going to cut their speed to zero. I fucking hated doing that for Brenda, but we have to do it. I would rather do it for sacrifice one to ensure that we can get past, squeak past this battle and finally get to some new encounters. <sighs> but that is our strategy for Sabrina. Here's to hoping that it all goes well. Everybody is good to go. Everybody has their items. I am fucking excited for Balagna to actually get some action. I feel like I don't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's not real. Like, the numbers, I always say, trust the numbers. Order of operations. Trust the numbers. But I just don't believe it. I don't believe that I'm going to send Balagna in here. After never even being considered for one fucking match, I'm going to send Balagna in here. And she's going to kill this camera up turn one. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No, I will not. We're holding W. Because um, now I'm thinking, no, maybe I shouldn't click skull. No. No, we can burn. Well. That neutralizing gas works. Okay, stop, stop! Stop it! Cut it out! We're, no, we have our plan. We're holding W. Um. I really am not trying to get Puke Muku again, to be honest with you. Um. I don't know if I've ever done this before, now that I think about it. I don't know if I've ever done this before. Can you actually make it to Sabrina without battling any trainers can you just hop skip through teleport after teleport because <laughs> i'm not risking anything these are the only mons that we have damn it that can complete this mission and we're not fucking this shit up damn it yo i don't know if i've ever noticed this before what are the how come the these panels are on the inside is it because it's in the middle of like the tic-tac-toe board or is it because, like, one of these takes you to Sabrina? Is it, like, a hint that you're getting close? Well, that didn't take me to Sabrina. <laughs> Never mind. God damn. <laughs> I don't know. If it's not the way... Okay, I guess... Okay, okay, I guess... The I guess it's just... Be... No, because the... That, 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 that. So that room that had this, the closer portals is above Sabrina. But the one below her is the entrance to the Sabrina. And also, myth fucking busted! God damn it! Look, between the summer, school, catch up, and now, you know what we're gonna do? We have to have a Poke Myth Busters. We just busted a fucking myth, right? I don't know if that, I don't know if this only works in Radical Red, or if you can do it in Fire Red, or whatever, but check it out. My creativity chakra is just blowing up today, god damn it. Ah! Okay, I don't want to fight Sabrina is what I was going to say. Um, hold on, I'm going to save my game because only you can prevent lost save data. And I, we're gonna get fucked in this battle. I just, I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Oh, I just know it. I just fucking know it. I mean, I was talking about uh, glancing at the documentation for battles in the post game and shit and. I, I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I feel like uh, if we uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna throw this out here now, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out here see if it sticks if we get past the elite four um, To continue on in the post game. I feel like we should get I Was gonna say everybody <laughs> Back from our death box, but I would be down with maybe like six if I choose a team of six or however many are alive at the end of the elite four well, no, because, I don't know, is the Elite Four back-to-back -back in this game? Can I change teams in between? Cause, no, cause that's not like a regular Nuzlocke. I promise you I'm not stalling. We're gonna fight Sabrina. <laughs> Anyways, somehow I feel like if we get through uh, the Elite Four to continue on, we gotta get some, we gotta get some mons back. Or maybe we uh, unlock like uh, uh, six new encounters or something like that. So we can have some diversity. I don't know, but anyways, all right. I'm confident about everything but one, two of your mons on your team, Sabrina. Please don't fucking hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I gotta hit the... That's so Raven. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. I prefer fighting in the double style. Are you ready? 
No. Let's begin. Yeah, I still think it's really fucking cool that we didn't have to fight anybody to get there. <laughs> oh, Sabrina. Okay, order of operations. Order of operations. We have, we have. What the fuck? This, she got she, she's a shiny camera. Up. Wait. Oh my god, I'm I'm fucked up already. Hold on. Did I really bring a pink kerchief? <laughs> oh, now that I'm here, I'm looking at it. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Wait, I wrote down everyone's speed. Okay, yes, we have the speed. Um, what the fuck? Sabrina has a shiny camera up and a shiny top. That shiny top of so fucking clean, bro. Look at that bitch. Oh, that's clean. God damn. Okay, fuck you, Sabrina, for distracting me. Okay, I didn't say. I saw neutralizing gas pop. I saw, I remember seeing the, the, the trick room thing come up. If it was misty terrain, it doesn't, it, it pops up pink, right? But it doesn't stay pink, does it? I don't know how to tell. I, I mean, I saw the neutralizing gas pop up, so maybe that's why it's not pink? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Um, order of operations. Order of operations! Um, Belagna. Oh, fuck. I should have swapped these two. Belagna should have been first. I mean, it's still fine. It doesn't change order of operations. It's just weird to look at it like that. You know, like left to right, she lives on the left. Anyways, order of operation, Belagna, we are clicking Scald on the camera up. We talked about this. Scald on the camera up, and then we are sludge bombing the Top Lufini. And we live anything the Top Lufini does. If the camera up, if she leaves it in, it should die. If it swaps, we burn. So Sheila, we are sludge bombing the Top Lufini. Belagna, we are scalding the camera. I mean, she left it in, right? Yo, shiny make a camera up so fucking dope. <gasps> no fucking way! I don't understand this game! Yo, Belagna! <laughs> yes, Belagna, yes! We love it! We love it when a plan goes together! Yes, we do! Okay, order of operations worked. It worked. It worked. Ah, we poisoned. So the neutralizing gas worked. Oh, bitch, you could have missed that. I mean, I guess that's too much to ask for. But holy fuck! Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Wait! <laughs> Wait! She got a shiny Jellison too. Is her whole fucking team shiny? What the fuck? What the fuck, bitch? Where, where the fuck you get this from? Okay, wait, she brought out the jealousy. Wait, why did you bring out the jealousy? Hold up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait, hold up. Time out. Uh, jealousy. Water gem. Water gem. Water spout. Water gem. Water spout. Okay. 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 Against our wheezing. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Sheila, 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 Sheila. Okay, Water Spout does 140% minimum damage. Sheila is at 93 HP. So let's take that into consideration. Even though she's at 57%. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. We have to count Mel Metal now. I don't even know if that's enough to come in. We don't have Levitate. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's tricky. I don't know. We have... Two flamethrowers, Scald, and with I don't know. Uh, wait, so the top of video. I'm only considering this because order of operations. This Jellicent goes last this turn. Because the top of video is 94 speed. The Jellicent is 67 speed. Uh, Sheila is 33 speed. And Belagna is 22. So, Belagna, we have Volt Switch and Thunderbolt 4. Um, so let's see here. Let's see. The camera is gone. I can't believe fucking killed that camera. God damn. Okay, so the Jellicent, Thunderbolt is 55% minimum. Volt switch. Um, so if we were to. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I'm thinking. If we were to Thunderbolt. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. If we were to Thunderbolt this Jellicent, right? Order of operations. Because Water Spout's based off his HP. So right now we're at 134 HP after that muddy water that had no point in landing. What the fuck? 
Um, <laughs> um, this order of operations, we would go first. We could click Thunderbolt. Let's say we did a minimum of 55%, 56% to this Jellicent. That would leave it at, I'd say 56, 44% HP. And it's water spout, that's water gem boosted. Because if we take it off, water gem does less. I mean, the hydro, hydro, water spout. I was gonna say hydro spout. Water spout does less. Okay, so if we thunderbolt, that's minimum damage. We could do more. Um, and then Sheila would sludge bomb the top of Feeny, killing it. Because that bi that bitch could still click miss the explosion right now. I'm not gonna ignore it just to hound down this gelatin. Um. But if we do min damage of 44%, I mean, not 56%, uh, Water Spout is doing 60% to, we, okay, so, um, all right, I don't know how to tell you this, uh, Sheila, but you might not get this top of Beanie kill today because, uh, unless something fucked up just now, I don't see how... You are living this turn <clears throat> with this jealous in here, which is probably why that bitch sent it in. Okay. So, um, we have a citrus berry on Belagna. So, if we are... Okay, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold W, hold W, hold W. If we get, get all that, that stupid shit out of our head. Let's say we go with the original plan. We have Rochelle here for jealous in. Then we only have to worry about one party member taking a water spout. So, who takes a water spout the best after Brenda <laughs> ah, Brenda uh, I mean we have a citrus berry on our pink kitchen, so we could just stay in to take the water spout swap Sheila out click Thunderbolt because, <clears throat> okay, swapping Sheila is a given. We're swapping Sheila out. And we can click Volt Switch or Thunderbolt on the top of Feeny to kill it. If we Volt Switch out, we have to go out to Brenda to take the Water Spout alongside Rochelle. If we Thunderbolt the top of Feeny, this Jellicent has a chance to do 75% to us but our citrus berry will pop. <clears throat> our citrus berry will pop, giving us a whopping, are you ready for this? Giving us a whopping 42 points of health back. We'll be at uh, 50 points of health, a nice 30% after this water spot. <laughs> Uh, am I getting ahead of myself? <laughs> is this not the right way to do this? Uh, I'm just trying to consider all options. This is fucking turn two, damn it! What the fuck? Um, so, yes, so if we were to Thunderbolt, stay in, take the water spout, Citrus Berry pops, gets us back up. Turn two, we have uh, Rochelle out against what? Who is who is Sabrina sending in after the Tapu Fini? Um, I feel like the Tapu Fini's dying this turn no matter what. So who is Sabrina sending in after the Tapu Fini? She's down to four mons. Oh my god, I don't know why that's so motivating. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the three remaining that we haven't seen are the three most threatening, but okay. Um, so if we stay in, we have a Raquinid and a Pinkurchin. I mean, uh, Melmetal has Thunder Punch and Magirna has... Uh, okay. Uh, let's make a decision. Let's make a decision here. Um, Sheila, we, you are getting swapped out for Rochelle. Shift. Um, Balagna. I think we are going to... I mean, I'm just trying to think about use. How much more use are we going to get out of Blogna versus Brenda? I think we should stay in in Thunderbolt. I think we should take this first. And we can bolt switch out on the Jealous at next turn, diminishing its... Fuck. I 
think we do it. Oh my god! Oh. So neutralize and get. Wait! It doesn't. The Misty Surge doesn't come back, right? No, no, no. Not this turn. So neutralize and gas only works while Sheila is in. Okay. It doesn't linger. Okay, I guess our whole team is shiny. Um, okay, wait. I'm a little dumbfounded here. Um, what just happened? <laughs> um, what just happened? Uh, okay, hold on. I thought for sure we were gonna take a water spout there. Um, so Bologna is still at 134 HP. We did all of that um, so Just Barry Cow King for no reason. Okay, so now order wait the Magina! Wait, oh my god. I should have gone out to Brenda. I should have bolt switched Imagine if I would have bolt switched and then that motherfucker clicked. Why did he click strength sap? What the fuck was he expect? What the what? It, uh, what? Um, Is he expecting to get thunderbolted? What that's the most I could have done to you there dog. Um But that would have been oh that would have been flawless. We could have swapped into Brenda, the strength sap wouldn't have mattered. And Brenda would be out right now against this Magirna, and we can click flamethrower immediately, take it down to half. Oh my god, that would have been flawless. Um okay, so Magirna, 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 Magirna. What can we do against this Magirna? I've never once calced Magirna versus Pinkurchin. Um so Moonblast does 57% minimum to 68%. Cool 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 cool. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Awesome. Um and then what about our Araquanid? How is Magirna faring here? You have a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Oh, wait a minute. Thunderbolt is Magirna's strongest. Okay, but wait, no. Belagna has Lightning Rod. I only know that because number 1 I can't get the fuck away from Lightning Rod, but number 2 I can't have electric search. Ah! Um so the Magirna is not ever going to click Thunderbolt because we have Lightning Rod. So it's not even gonna click it. So against Araquanid, Moonblast has a chance to do 43% max. And against Pinkurch and Moonblast is 57% max. But then we also have this jackass of a Jellicent sitting here. Um I don't know who. I don't know what the fuck this Jellicent's gonna do. <laughs> I'm expecting a water spout, but I don't know who this Magirna is going to Moonblast. I mean, I guess technically Belagna is more of a threat. I mean, she does more to Belagna, but I need to swap out on Belagna's turn or in Belagna's space. And if this Jellicent clicks water spout, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so if. Because what am I going to do with Rochelle? Rochelle has a Citrus Berry. So the Jellicent does 20 to 23%. And the Magirna does 55% max. So even without the Citrus Berry, they can't kill Rochelle this one turn. So um, I think we are going to... But I don't think Belagna can live a water spout even at, like if I were to stay in Thunderbolt, I don't think he could live a water spout from wherever Jellicent is and a Moonblast from Magirna. So I really hope that this Magirna, he's not going to click Thunderbolt, but I really hope it does not Moonblast in Belagna's spot because we would not get a free swap in if that's the case. Okay, so order of operations is Belagna. We are clicking. Wait, that's for show. So Belagna goes first. Belagna is 22 speed. Rochelle is 48. The Jellison is 67. The Magirna is 72. So Belagna goes first, and we are bolt switching on the Jellison because we can't stay in. You cannot guarantee your safety. 
Cannot. Okay, so this Jellicent, I mean, a big brain play would be to click Strength Sap again, but this Bolt Switch has a potential to do over half. Actually, wait a minute, I forgot we have a Citrus Berry. So what if- oh, I was gonna say, what if I scald him again? Okay, but the Citrus Bear would only work if we attack the Jellicent. We have to Thunderbolt the Jellicent. I mean, it wouldn't make any difference to click Toxic then. So we just double-team the Jellicent? We don't double-team the Magearna? But if we kill the Jellicent, the Magearna gets a boost. So if I'm gonna use the- no, it doesn't work out. I'm gonna say if I'm gonna use my citrus berry, I wanna click Scald on the gear and I potentially burn it, but there's no fucking point. There's no point in that. There's no point. Okay. I am clicking. So we have 40 44% on this jellicent. And then forty-four and then so we're gonna do 74% to this Jellicent right now. And this Magearna is just gonna moon blast whatever the fuck it wants to. <laughs> <laughs> um Cause I'm trying to weigh out my odds. 74%. Crunch does 30 to 36%. So we could crunch again next turn and kill the Jellicent. Oh, so maybe we don't even have to toxic it if we just double team it now and then I guess we are bolt switching to Brenda uh, everybody else is responsible for something different I don't know I don't know what I'm doing 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 ah! um Brenda uh, Brenda, it's like 30%, right? 32 to 38. Okay, we need a mineral. Mineral, 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 mineral. Um, Jellicent's... Oh, he did not do over half. Fuck. I should have toxic. I should have toxic. Ah! Ah! Ah, Rochelle! Ah! Yes! Saksima! Ah! Ah! Saksima! Ah! It did attack belong the spot. Okay! 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 Fuck yes! Fuck yes! Yo, I want you to know. I want you to know. This is past me looking out for current me right now. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I remember building this. And I thought, oh, fuck, all of Brenda's abilities are awful in this. Like, there's nobody. There's no grass type moves. I completely forgot about Sap Sipper. I mean, um... Strength Sap. Completely forgot about it until like just now and I was like, I don't even fucking know. This thing doesn't do any damage, right? So I just left it because her other abilities are Overcoat, which not going to come into play here. There's no moves and there's no weather. And Gooey, which I'm not trying to make their mods any slower. So what the fuck? That was actually so clutch. Holy shit. That Sap Sipper kept that Jellicent from getting HP back. But does that keep him from using Sap Sipper, period? Wait, is this Jellicent locked down now? Am I getting Water Absorb mixed up with Storm Drain? Can he, like, still Hydro Pump? I, yeah, I think, I think he can. I think he could still, like, click Water Spout. I think Storm Drain, that's why it's called Drain. It takes everything away. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, 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 focus. Um, we got Moon Blasted. We got Moon Blasted. We got Moon Blasted. But the Jellicent is here to do our bidding basically we're at 114 hp this is not good 63 percent um it can click moon blast two more times and kill us um this jellicent could it strength sap uh rochelle um <laughs> like how he clicked that and it gave us a plus one and gave him nothing. 
Uh, instead of giving him HP and lowering our attack, this helps him raise our attack. Um, okay, so let's let's hold on. Let's order of operations this real quick. Let's order of operations this. Um, so Rochelle is 48 speed. She will go first. The Jellison is 67, and Brenda is 67 as well. So that's gonna be a speed tie. I can't do anything about that. Well, Brenda is clicking flamethrower on the Magirna because we outspeed. This is why we cut Brenda's speed IVs to zero to outspeed this Magirna. So we are clicking flamethrower with Brenda. Brenda will either go second or third. Rochelle. Okay, so this is tricky because if we kill the Jellicent right now, the Magirna will get a soul heart boost. So I could click Crunch on her shell, kill the Jellicent, and then if the Magirna gets a plus one, let's see if it even matters. If it gets a plus one, its Moonblast has the chance to do 48 to 58%. Brenda is at 63 right now. So then next turn we could outspeed the Magirna and kill it, but what is she going to send in next? Because whatever she sends in next is probably going to have the ability to kill Brenda. <laughs> ah, she still has the, the Glacier and the fucking Mel Metal. Oh my god. Ugh. Tabu Fini, the camera up, and now the Jellicent are all <laughs> almost dead. And now the other three still are full HP. <laughs> ah, ah, what is this? Like, turn three. What the fuck is going on? Uh, okay. This is what Doctor Strange felt like fighting Dormammu. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. So, if we don't kill the Jellicent, what is he going to do? If we just, I mean, the Magirna is going to, uh, what, 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 if we click... Liquidation on the Magirna. What does the most? Well, yeah, liquidation. Liquidation does 20% min. This is only so that the Jellicent doesn't die. <laughs> ah! And I have to hope that the. No, the Jellicent. Oh, fuck. The Jellicent can click. Oh, I don't want to speak this. I don't want to speak this. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, the only thing we have to worry about with the Jellicent is... Hydro Pump. Because we can't attack the Jellicent right now. Unless we just say YOLO it, fuck it, kill the Jellicent. Flamethrower the Magirna. But if we get min damage on that Magirna, we get min damage next turn. I feel like I'm, I'm talking myself into this, and this is not the smartest play. I wish this was Waterfall, and then Garen had a chance to point. Oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yo, Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt or Shell! Oh. No, you bitch. You're supposed to Thunderbolt or Shell. Oh, fuck. Okay, so she didn't go for a... Oh, we got lots of damage. Holy shit. I thought for a second, was that a crit flamethrower? But I remembered that we killed the Magirna. Okay, so this is great! No, this is fucking great! Yo, that was the best thing. Yo, I don't know what Sabrina's done with this Jellicent. She clicked Strength Sap and somehow passed me. Got her on the fucking swap. I don't know why she clicked Strength Sap there. I wasn't planning on her to click Strength Sap. Uh, especially against the Pin Kirchen. What the fuck? Um... Maybe she was predicting the Volt Switch, but I got you with that Sap Super bitch. And then just now she Shadow Balled her shell. The only thing that would have made that better is if uh, the Magirna would have Thunderbolted her shell, which I didn't even think about. But I remember it only does 47, 46 to 55 percent. Um, if we would have gotten that, we can look at it right now. If we would have gotten a special defense drop. 
we're at 133 HP. We're at 80% right now. If we'd have gotten a special fence drop off of that um, Shadow Ball, then the Gearna has a chance to kill. But it doesn't. We would have had a chance to live that Thunderbolt as well. But if we'd have never gotten a special defense drop, if we would have just uh, Thunderbolted us, we could have had both of them in our Citrus Bay. It would have popped. Everything would have been hunky fucking dory. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at where we're at right now. Why does this say choose a Pokemon? Hold on. Why does this say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is perfect. This is perfect. So order of operations. Rochelle clicks Crunch on the Jellicent. It dies. So we no longer have to worry about a speed tie. Nagirna can have its soul heart boost. Doesn't matter. We outspeed, we click flamethrower, we kill. <sighs> I kind of almost wish <laughs> that we didn't kill Jellicent. Just so I can control what comes in next. Oh yeah, look at your little shithead soul heart boost. Yeah, too bad you're never gonna get a chance to use that. Oh my god, this is four of her mons gone. So she has the glacier, glacier air, and oh my god, the metal metal. Oh my god, they can both kill Brenda. Oh wow! Oh wow! Everybody, it's it's make it six for six. Wow! Look at that! They're all shiny. <laughs> oh fuck! Okay, okay. This is big problem. Big problem. Big problem. Big problem. Big 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 problem. Big problem. Okay. Uh, hold on. I want to look. I want to look and be proud. Oh, I want to look and be proud. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Yes, yes. We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay. So, um. Focus, 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 focus. We're not out of the woods yet. So, order of operations. The Glastrier is gla the Glastrier. Glastrier is thirty-six speed. We have a full health Abelug waiting for you, dog. Yes, we do. And Florence. Yes, these two are both meant to battle them. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, the Mel Metal. The Mel Metal has. So he could Thunder Punch Rochelle. I don't think he's gonna double Iron Bash Rochelle. I don't think he's gonna Brick Break Rochelle or High Horsepower. He could Brick Break or High Horsepower Brenda. Um, so. But then the. the Gla Glass Glacier. He's got Swords Dance, but he could also just click either Close Combat or High Horsepower on Brenda. Uh, he could click Ice Hammer too, to be fair. Brenda has so little HP. Um, I need an ability called Bling, where I can hold two items. <laughs> I want a Chobble Berry and I want a fucking Citrus Berry, damn it. Let me have it! Come on now! And it was a fly! I see that bitch right there! It's because Sasha takes forever to come inside. I tell her, come on in this bitch! And she wanted to take her fucking time swaying her hips back and forth. Bring that ass in here! Um, anyways, focus, 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 focus. I'll get you, bitch! I'll get you, bitch! Anyways. Um, so, um, I don't know what this Glacier is going to do. I don't think it's going to attack Rochelle. I think if it does attack, it's going to... High horsepower. I mean, the only reason I say that is because of its ability. I don't know if the AI factors that in. Like, oh, I want to go get that plus one. Um, I also know the AI loves to set up, <laughs> so it could just click uh, Swords Dance. Fuck. Um. Let me see here. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Okay, so Thunder Punch does 87% max to Rochelle, 74% Mim. Mmm, so that could kill. Um, okay, so my question here is if we go out to 
I don't know who to target here. I wasn't expecting to have to battle these two together last. Because I would like to burn them both. <laughs> or try to. Okay, so. Um, I was debating leaving Rochelle in and clicking Toxic on the Glacier. Gl Glacier but if the Mel Metal clicks Thunder Punch, then it has a chance to kill Rochelle. If for whatever reason the, the Gl Glass... Glastrier decides to attack Rochelle. She's not living both hits. Um, Brenda, I feel like, is in the line of sight for the Glastrier because he can get a plus one. I could be worrying about the, him all for nothing because he could just click Swords Dance, which is why I'm kind of inclined to click Toxic. But the Mel Metal is sitting right there, and he could Thunder Punch Rochelle, which would be abysmal. That would suck. Um, and Brenda would die to brick break or a high horsepower so we have an abalug and a electros in waiting so i think that if we're worried about a high horsepower on brenda's slot we should swap brenda for florence and we should swap rochelle for million or do we leave rochelle in Thunder Punch is a 56.3% chance to Oko. I just don't want to give this Glacier, Gl Glacier a free turn, that's all. Because then we're really fucking screwed. Um, or, what if we swap out to... Sheila. What if we swap to Sheila and Willow Whiffs the Mel Metal so that then we can focus down the Glac Glacier here. Can Sheila live a... Yo, high horsepower is the worst move to use against a Rackman. I swear to God, if this Mel Metal or this fucking uh, Glass Year click high horsepower on Rochelle's slot, I'm gonna be livid. Livid, livid, livid. Uh, but against this Mel Metal, um, Thunder Punch will do 30%. So we could live that. If it clicks double iron bash, which I don't know, it wouldn't be enough to kill our Raquinid, but if it clicks double iron bash, I don't know, should we burn the, the glass here? I feel like we should just attack him. Just outright attack him. Burn the Mel Metal. I feel like if he gets a Swords Dance up, that's it. He doesn't have to click Swords Dance again. He just starts picking up kills. But we can't do anything because Rochelle doesn't do anything to it. Um, okay, so Rochelle, we are going to swap you out. No, we're not going to worry about... Do we need to worry about burning? I'm gonna shift Sheila in for Rochelle. I am more convinced. I don't think, I don't, I just don't see him clicking a steel type move on a water type or a ground type move on a bug type. Either of them. Brenda, I can't in all good <laughs> power leave you in. I think we're gonna go out to Florence here. Or do we go out to Amelia? No, we're gonna out to Florence to dodge the high horsepower. Oh, I feel like this is a bad play. We need Amelia out for this glass year. Oh, no, 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 no. The AI is going to do the exact opposite of what I thought it was going to do, and we're going to get fucked! Ah! It just swords danced! So that can do 49% max. Oh, that was real shit. Our citrus berry didn't pop, so even though it shows orange. Oh, that was really shit. Um, well, I'm not mad that we did that, I guess. That's still a lot of damage for something that should be resisted, but... Uh, yeah, that did. That was max damage, by the way. He got maximum damage out of that double iron bash. Max damage is 48%, and 97 is 52%. Um, but I'm also kind of curious if we would have gone... Double Iron Bash would have done more to Amelia. 
Um, okay, so the thing that sucks here is I'm pretty sure at plus two. Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, at plus two, this gla glass year kills everything. I have to click Haze. It's gonna go first. If the glass chair kills Sheila, we lose. Wow. I didn't think about this. We should have gone out to... <sighs> I should have stayed in. I should have stayed in and clicked... Toxic on this thing. Fuck. I have to haze now. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but I have to haze. And then I'm going to... Flamethrower. With last year. Oh, we're 33 speed! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh, fuck! God damn it! Fuck you! Fuck! Why? 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 No, it doesn't kill! What? I should have will o the Mel Metal. I should have will o the me Mel Metal. I should have will o the Mel Metal. Oh my god, it didn't even dawn on me. I needed to will o the Mel Metal so that I could live his next hit. The Double Iron Bash, we would have lived. Oh my god, why did I- I, was, I just tunnel vision so hard on Haze. Get rid of the fucking Swords Dance. I keep forgetting that yes, this fucking Mel Metal is a problem. Fuck, that was a that was awful. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Um I I wasn't even paying attention. We have to go out to Amelia. I wasn't even paying attention. I I just killed my wheezing. I literally just killed my wheezing and I don't even know why. I don't even know why. Um I don't even know what this what this glacier is sitting at. I don't even know what- I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what he's sitting at. How many- uh, he has two swords dances up? Um... Okay, so, order of operations. Um... Amelia, Blastrier, Melmetal, Florence. So, we have to iron head the Glastrier and a flinch would be a beautiful thing. And I'm gonna flamethrower this thing as well. Oh my god. The combination of the two will kill, but the iron, the flinch? Yes! Yes! Okay, I know we can live one of those from the mail metal. I know we can live that. But. The flinch basically ensured that Florence lives to get the flamethrower off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank god. Oh. That was a huge misplay with Sheila though. I can't believe I just threw my fucking wheezing away. I just chucked it out the window. Fuck. Oh. But you know what? I, I really thought that that Glastrier... Even then, I thought it was going to outspeed me, but I forgot we had the Iron Ball on. And I just remembered Iron Ball means we could outspeed the Mel Metal, but I forgot that we were low enough that we could outspeed the Glass Year as well. He's 36, the Mel Metal is 40. The Iron Ball on Sheila makes us 33. So I was just kind of like in a Hail Mary mindset, like, fuck it, I'm going to click Haze. If he attacks Florence, then Florence is gone, but at least I can Haze and get rid of his... Well, we had neutralizing gas. He didn't have the, the moxie boost, but at least we can get rid of his swords dance. But then he swords dances again! And I completely tunnel visioned on clicking haze that I didn't even fucking think about Will O Wisp. If we were to Will O Wisp the Mel Metal on that turn, like I fucking said during the plan, during the prep, during everything, if we fucking Will O Wisp the Mel Metal and he would have been burned, that double iron bash would have done 42%, 43% max. We were sitting at 57%. We would have lived it. We would have burned the Mel Metal, and then we could have hard swapped out to Amelia from there, kept Sheila alive. Well, 
He would have uh, gone for the. So he would have gone for the second. If we would have burned, and he goes for the second. Um, swords dance, because we hazed instead of will o wisping. So if we would have will o wisped, burned him, he went for a second swords dance. So the turn after, he wouldn't have gone for a swords dance again. He would have been. He would already used it twice. So the turn after, we'd have had Amelia and Florence out against a burned Melmetal and a plus four Glastriate. Because <laughs> we would have had to swap. Which means that he would have gone first and probably killed Florence or Amelia on, sw on switching. Because the close combat almost was enough to kill. So maybe in a weird roundabout way that forced it to go for an extra swords dance instead of attacking us. Maybe her sacrifice was needed. Maybe I'm just telling myself that. Maybe I need to focus because this battle's not over. <laughs> ah! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, this double iron bash. This double iron bash. This double iron bash. This double iron bash. Um, so we have our Avalog. Um, hold on. I'm debating clicking recover with you. We're at 109 HP, which is 55%. Um, against this Mel Metal, Double Iron Bash has a chance to do 55% min to 67.3. That's odd. Why did it not do that much damage when we swapped in? Oh, I know. It just used it, right? Why did it not do that much damage then? Is this Mel Metal experiencing an attack drop that I'm not aware of? This damage calc seems to be correct. Double Iron Bash does 55 min. Our health right now is 109. It's 55 min. So why did he not do? He only did 45 damage with the Double Iron Bash. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Not 100% sure, but... I'm not going to try and run that risk again. Um, so I think... Order of operations, our Avalug, Sheila goes first at 34, then the Metal Metal at 40, and then our Florence at 57. <gasps> this is Sabrina's last mon? <laughs> I love it! Okay, 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 okay. So yes, order of operations, it will go Amelia. So if we click recover, I don't give a fuck about this Mel Metal and his Double Iron Bash. If he Double Iron Bashes, uh, Florence will live and our Citrus Berry will pop, but we're going to Flamethrower. But I don't know, this feels like kind of a waste. Why did it do 45%? Now I'm scared to click it. <laughs> now I'm scared to, because I was going to say, if I click... What the fuck is doing the most damage? I wish, maybe I should have brought Bulldoze. <laughs> just said, fuck it, it can go first, fuck it. Uh, no, I don't wanna give it that, that advantage. Um, Icicle Crash, Icicle Crash has a chance to flinch too, right? Just like a 30% chance to flinch. And Iron Head has a 30% chance to flinch. Okay, we're clicking Icicle Crash, no, we're clicking Recover. And then, I wonder if I click Drain Punch here. Hold on, is this is this tricky if I click Drain Punch here? So if he double iron bashes me and leaves me at 4% HP, that's how much will be left over if he gets a max roll on Florence. Um, we will get 46 points of health back. Which will leave us at 54 points of health. And then we click Drain Punch and get another 13% back. So we'll be sitting 42%. Which means we'll have a chance to live the next Double Iron Bash. <laughs> or we can click Flamethrower and get damage off and burn his ass now. I think we burn him. Oh god, I forgot about the recover. I hope I'm not getting greedy. 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 Who are you double iron bashing? Ah! <laughs> he didn't go for floor! 
pirates? Okay, cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, dog. Hey, do I do it again? Uh, I'm scared. I clicked it too fast. Do I do it again? Yo! <laughs> Order of operations! Order of operations! Uh, no! Oh, our switch is very pops now! Even better! Even better, you bitch! Even better! Oh, I should have fucking drain punched you. But no, I think you die to the next one. Because I'm, I go first. I'm just gonna attack you, right? Right, 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 right? No! Double iron bash and make you fucking flinch! 30% chance to make the target flinch! Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Sabrina, just give me the badge! I already fucked up and killed my wheezing! Just give me the badge! Please! She won't let me! Okay, we're at 44%. Damn, we really needed that fucking flamethrower. We really needed that flamethrower. Wow, we really needed that flamethrower. Um. Okay, so we're at 44%. That is smack dab in the middle. I want you to know that. Double Iron Bash has approximately a 43.8% chance to Oko Florence from here. Do you see this? Do you see this? I told you this Mel Metal was going to be a fucking problem. And I didn't even burn it. Oh, that flinch was awful. Um, Yes, Double Iron Bash, 40%. Please, please, Ayudame. Or, 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 yes, we talked about this. Amelia. Please, Amelia, please. We need it. We need it, and we need it now, Amelia. Do we just go for damage, or do I Drain Punch? Drain Punch is 20%, and it'll guarantee we live the next Double Iron Bash. I'm gonna do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I feel like I'm playing games here. No! Ah! He did it, take flight! <laughs> Yo, I don't understand this game. Sabrina is fucking playing with my heart. Oh my god. Okay, but wait. Show me where we. Show me where you put us at. Show me where you put us at. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me where you put us at. This is so unnecessary. I feel like this entire end game here is so unnecessary. Okay, one twelve. We're at 60% HP. Devil Iron Bash is 40 to 48% max on Florence. Amelia, you know what we're clicking. I'm gonna click recover. And then we're gonna flamethrower this Mel Metal. Yay, 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 or nay. Chilling nay, more like it. Who are you double iron bashing? Yes! Okay, oh my god. Okay, Florence, 30% is the min, 36 and a half is max. Come on now. Come on now. Get us, get us to the end. Hell yeah, Florence, get us to the end. Damn it. Oh my God. You do not know how fulfilling that music is right now. You do not know. It's like after you run Five, ten miles and get to drink some water. Oh my god. It's like the same. My body and just washed in cold water. Like, oh. This loss shocks me. But a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. Your victory has earned you the marsh badge. And a deck snap encounter, damn it! Woo! Before you go, please take this TM with you. Bye, Shaw. Wow. It's a special move that hits the target's defense. It's a unique move that can catch the opponent off guard. Perhaps you're looking for a camera up type? If you show me a shiny Pokemon, I'll reward you handsomely. What? Oh, you're wheezing? Oh, this is like the... Oh, my poor Sheila. I just can't keep a wheezing alive. But you know, like I was saying in the... Um, uh, during the battle there... Cause I was trying to reflect on it like then and there like think back about what I should have done and honestly I like I said if we hadn't have done that oh I had to make a new box <laughs> if I hadn't have done that would the AI have gone for a third 
because it only clicked Swords Dance three turns in a row because I hazed after the first one. So if the AI's mindset was to click Swords Dance twice no matter what, if we would have gone for Will-O-Wisp, burn the Melmetal, he would have Swords Danced again, because he Swords Danced when he brought Sheila in. Melmetal would have double Iron Bashed, wouldn't have killed Sheila, and we would have flamethrowered the Melmetal that was also burned. But now we have the Glacier at full health and sitting with two Swords Dances up. And it's... So I would have to burn it. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So if we go over here, let me see this Glacier one more time. So if we go over here and we check out uh, this Glacier, if it's sitting here and it's burned, then... Oh, high horsepower would have still killed us no matter what. <laughs> I was going to say, on that turn, it, since we outsped, if we would have burned him, burned the Glacier, the high horsepower, he would have killed Weezing and gotten the... No, he wouldn't have gotten the... I would have gotten the plus one? Would the ability neutralizing gas disappear and then his ability would kick in and give him the plus one? So, I don't know. Maybe we did the right thing. Maybe we didn't. I mean, I'm not... I don't know. We. It sucks that we lost Weezing. We lost both of our Weezings. That's awful. Holy fuck. One against Surge and one against Sabrina. Weezing is such a good mon! Ah! Oh! And why doesn't Avala get Haze? Why? It's an ice type move! Fuck! That was one of the best things about Sheila. Levitate, neutralizing gas, Haze, and Will O Wisp. Oh. That sucks. That really fucking sucks. It really fucking sucks. And it's really cutting down our good mons that we have to work with here. God damn. Ugh. Oh. Well, Bologna, hold up, we're gonna... Everybody else, you did a wonderful job! You did everything you were supposed to. Honestly, Sheila, you did what you were supposed to as well. Even if you stalled that Glacier to keep him from attacking us again. Um, hey, I guess, hey, Florence, I guess you're in this box now! Florence had been chilling in this box for the longest because she hadn't been getting used, but hey, you can chill over here for now. How many kills did Florence get in that match? How many kills did Flo Florence killed the Glacier and the Melmetal, right? Wait a minute. So Bologna killed the Tapu Fini and the Mega Camera Up. Florence killed the Glacier and the Melmetal. Brenda killed the Magirna, right? And Rochelle killed the Araquanid. So she was the only one that didn't get a kill. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess uh, Amelia didn't get a kill either, but oh well. Damn! What a fucking battle. Shit. Well. Oh, wait, I gotta show her a shiny. Pamela, can you do me a favor? Bologna, I'm gonna say, hey, you've made it through the one and only battle you might be a part of. I don't know if we have any other trick, trick room battles coming up, but you made it through, so now you're back to doing your job, goddammit. Uh, your Ambor. Ah, oh, yes, this Pokemon is clearly a shiny. Here, take it. A camera up tight. Wow. I've carried this around for a while, but I have no idea if it actually does anything. You might like it, though. Oh, you're talking about this? I thought you were talking about the camera up tight. I mean, hey, that bitch got obliterated turn one. <laughs> so I don't know if it does anything either. But, oh, a shiny charm. So we can find shiny Pokemon in our encounters. More shiny mons in our encounter. Whoa! More shiny mons in our encounters then. So, okay! Cool, 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 cool! So we have a whopping. I'm gonna swap to this box. Isn't that sad? We have two Paradiso boxes now. But we have a whopping Morty, Brock, Misty, Surge, Chuck, and Sabrina. Six. Dexnav encounters stocked up and now we can continue forward <laughs> We can continue forward our Saffron City arc Finally has come to a close and through it all we have lost a total of four Pokemon But look at it. Damn it. Look at it. We got five motherfucking badges. I told you that's the six badges. It's just let us go do goat first Fuck. <sighs> But I guess we are headed I think we're headed down cycling path next. If you have any idea where we're headed next, please 
let me know in the comment section below. Give me a heads up on what's coming. I'm gonna try my best to team prep, but I love heads up and whatnot. What what I should keep an eye out for and prep for the most. Um, but I think we're heading that way next. I don't think we can go south of Lavender. I don't even know if we can go on that route to get an encounter, but either way, that is my next goal is to get some fucking encounters. We need to replenish all of these mons that we have lost that are now residing in Paradiso, including Sheila today. Oh, we've lost so many good mons. So many good mons throughout this playthrough. Oh my lord. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to these fallen soldiers. Come on now. Come on. Fuck. Anyways, enough is enough. It's time for me to wrap up today's episode here. If you guys enjoyed, I think we did pretty well considering the the challenge that we had set out against us. We only lost one mon. Even if we had to lose a mon, we only lost one. It's better than the last episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of our... Pokemon Radical Red Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke. And of course, if you want to show your support, support of the Happy Nation, make sure to like my down below for it because you're already out. Your support is greatly appreciated. And until we see each other again, thank you so much for your love and light, and please be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye!